Hello, Factory GSM followers. Today, I will show you the solution for the Google account error on the Galaxy Tab T280 or T285 A6. So, that's why I will ask you to watch the video until the end. But, be, uh, don't you forget. That's it. So, as you can see, this is the tablet in front of me. So, to begin, you choose your, uh, like, you choose your language like that. Let me search. This is English, United States. Then you click on the yellow button next. And after that, they will ask you to connect to like to a Wi-Fi. So I will connect to my Wi-Fi like that. You enter the password like that. Okay, just wait one second. Then you click on connect. So now he, uh, the tablet is being connected to the Wi-Fi. After that, you click on next, and then next, then skip. Like you ignore it, just ignore it. Then it will tell you that the software is updated. Just second checking info, and after that, like you wait about not for too long, but you just wait. And then they will tell you that that this tablet has an account before it. So you need a password for that account, but you don't have it. So that's why I'm here today. So I will show you the solution. Okay, so you get back, click, you go back to the first page, and then you take two fingers and then touch it on the screen, like just touch the screen with two fingers and hold it on like that until you'll see the talkback thing like that so you just click on exit 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 many times just click on exit like like I do and after that when you get here you you will click another time hold with two fingers and then try to like write right nail on the left of the tablet like like you see here and then click on talk back it's on the right corner upper corner so so when you're in this page scroll down like scroll down and enable the option that say automatically scroll list and disable the option that say explore by touch after that you click on ok on that thing so after that you'll scroll up with the two fingers of course and then scroll up and up until you see the option that say talk back suspend and resume shortcut and enable it and after that and then after that you click on privacy policy and then choose internet thing like you'll click on the internet and after that you get redirected to this page so you wait i have a, like a low connection so you wait and then you go to google.com and after when you are in google.com you should as i said when you get here in google you you will type w r then uh, where is it o then m uh, and it's no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So you'll do it. It's W and R O M, and then slash bypass. It will get you in the search. Like it's it is slash bypass, B A W P A S S. So when you get redirected to this page, you you will click on the first, on the first website. Okay, so I uh, I'll zoom in so you can see. Then you click on FRP bypass app APK. So you click on it, and after that, after you click on it like that, just click on it, and then click on the home on the any. It, it will say that you it is downloading. The APK is downloading. So you'll wait a little bit.
and after that you'll click on Android 5 thing so as I said when you get here in Google Chrome like you'll get to the link that I will I will write you the link above above here at the screen like you'll see it so you just go to that link okay let me type it so the website is wlrom.net slash bypass as you can see here above so then you go to the first link that you'll see and then tap on like let me zoom it is FRP bypass so you click on it and then it will say that it is downloaded so you can just wait history download history of course and as you can see there are the downloads there so you click on the FRP bypass and then go to to settings as as you can see and then unknown sources you enable it then okay and then install so you wait until it is installed and then click on accept so now when it is installed you click on open and then retype password you click on parameters and browse engineer and then click on ok and then it will say sign in and then type your email I will type my email for now I will hide my email so you cannot see it of course just to make sure that my gmail is secure and then click on next and after that you type your password of course I will hide my password so I will have my password so you cannot see it <laughs> I will hide it with my hands so now after you written your password click on next so I had my password again so they will to retype your password so I will have the keyboard so you cannot see what I will write I'm sorry though. So after that, you click on sign in. And then it will say that it is signing in, as you can see. So now we are here at this page. So you like, you'll click on the turn off button and then on the volume button. And then click on restart and then okay restart so now as you can see the tablet is restarted as you can see it is a galaxy tab a6 you'll wait for a little until it is restarted so here it is it is being turned on So you'll wait. While waiting, I want to ask you to subscribe and things. So now when you're here at this page, like, you repeat the same things that we did. It will get connected to the Wi-Fi. Like, automatically click on the yellow button, next. And after that, you'll connect to your Wi-Fi and then click on next, next, accept. And then it will say that it is chicken connection. So you'll wait for, not for too long. It will say that software is updating. So account added, you click on next, next. So as you can see, you just click on next and things, skip, and then skip anyway. So as you can see, we have solved the problem. You just scroll down, next, next, it's not okay, now it is. They will say in progress, 
this is the Google, uh, the Samsung account. If you have a Samsung account, sign in if you don't have it. So you just click on skip, wait it, wait for a minute. So as you can see here, there is no account and now like you could use your tab freely and with your account without, without entering the last account password. So we'll wait. I'm sorry for making you waiting too long for too long, but that's it. It will take some time. I think it's a little bit bugged, so I will click on... So I, I think I will click on back. J just wait till I see. Just wait till I see what is going on. I don't know why it took so too long. So as you can see, I will just just click on back. Wait wait a moment. So I, I you click on back. The software update next, next, next. I will repeat the same thing. I don't know. Just repeat the same thing. Then skip, skip anyway. As the last time. <laughs> then next, next, next. As you can see, you could you just click on skip, and then. Skip. So you click on skip and you follow me. And that's it for today. So you can see you could use your tablet and it's with your account. So I'll you go to settings, Google accounts, accounts, and then talk back and you turn uh, you turn off talk back so you could use it like normally. So as you can see this is it and now it is good to be used. And now your tab A6 is ready to be used.